pleasant morning to all. I seek to adopt the protocol previously established, save to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Maurice Smith, University Registrar, Professor Denzel Williams, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal, Five Islands Campus, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, students, alumni, friends all. It is a pleasure and an honor to have been invited to deliver the keynote address at this 75th anniversary Higher Education Forum under the theme Beyond 75, Vision, Strategy, and Leadership for Higher Education. I applaud the University of the West Indies on this significant anniversary. UWE has given much to this region and the world, and I wish the institution the very best as it celebrates throughout this year and looks to its centenary. Although I never attended UWE, I am very aware of the enormous contributions the institution has made to academia, ranking the highest within the region and producing many of the region's scholars, politicians, and professionals. In fact, several of my cabinet members are products of UWE. Let me highlight the former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas. Among others, they are stellar examples of the reputation of excellence your institution boasts. The theme beyond 75, vision, strategy, and leadership for higher education could not be more relevant and timely. We must imagine a future for our people and work together to achieve that vision. I am delighted that a student leader, Ms. Omo Laura Wilson, will share her vision for that future with this forum. As lead head for the human resource development within CARICOM Quasi Cabinet, I am especially concerned with how the education and other sectors evolve and collaborate harmoniously to ensure a better future for our people. A vision for the future, in particular a shared vision, is an important starting point. We, the region and the world, are emerging from the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic that unfolded in 2020. Economies faltered. Even those that were considered strong and thriving felt the burden of disruption in industrial operations and the terrible loss of lives. I am tremendously heartened by the way in which the region demonstrated resilience and the courage in facing the challenges of COVID-19 head on. The UWE COVID-19 Task Force played a critical role in helping to manage the COVID-19 virus outbreak in the Caribbean, utilizing expertise and professionals to offer clear and accurate information on the pandemic to public and private partners. I must applaud you for your efforts and continued contributions to the region. The governments of the region are tremendously bolstered by the institutions that support this region in so many ways. In education, public health management, disaster management, and security to name the key areas. The advice, the science, and the data all help to ensure that our small economies did not grind to a complete halt. As we look to the future, I wish to say a sincere thank you to our regional partners. I am sure that there are several listening online. Collaboration across our region is real and deeply appreciated and to be encouraged and facilitated. We are not insignificant in the global landscape. Right. The education sector is a critical player in all that we do. I refer to all levels of education, early childhood, primary, secondary, post-secondary, technical and vocational training, continuing professional education, and experiential learning, which we can now assess for entry into formal education programs. Not a mere cliche, education is everybody's business and responsibility. We must pay keen attention to the entire sector, how we envision it, how we resource the sector and ensure that we achieve the vision, how responsive and agile we must ensure that the education sector can be to respond to unexpected changes, how well the education sector 
can adapt to the ever-evolving technological advancements, how well is education translating to civic participation, economic advancements, voting, health outcomes, equitable societies. These are only just a few factors we must consider. In 2014, the CARICOM Council for Human and Social Development established a Commission on Human Resource Development to develop a Human Resource Development 2030 strategy to position the region for 21st century economy and society. The strategy outlined the need for systemic educational reform leading to the establishment of a single, unified, rationalized, and coordinated system framework, the seamless human resource development system for planning and managing the entry, up, uh, and managing the entry, upward and diagonal mobility, and exit of learners that reduce resource and learning duplications, repetitions, and misalignment across all levels of education and training. I see from the program that there will be a presentation on the strategy, and I applaud the Secretariat for its diligent work in implementing the strategy. Education about preparing our people for their, our future. I referred earlier to collaboration across the institutions of the region. I didn't need to underscore that institutions was a euphemism for regional colleagues. Even as we applaud the work done by regional colleagues, a critical element of facilitating that work across the region is the ability of our people to move effortlessly across the region. In St. Kitts and Nevis, we have undertaken several key initiatives to advance the education sector. One of our first executive measures as a new administration was to make Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College tuition free for all students. Our society cannot afford to lose the valuable young minds simply because they or their families cannot afford the cost of attending college. As a result, we pledge to make every effort to prepare our students to assume their proper place in the workforce and society in whatever profession they choose. Furthermore, we reinstated the one-to-one -one laptop program to grant our children access to the technology they need to become globally competitive. We widened the scope of the program to include preschool students as well, providing them with tablets to ensure they are exposed to technological advancements and advanced learning programs. We now provide economic costs to all of our students who study at UWE. To deliver the New Deal that we promised in education sector, the Ministry of Education New Leadership has examined ongoing programs with the goal of reducing gaps and enhancing delivery efficiency. We take education seriously, and as such, we are seeking to partner with several universities regionally and internationally to ensure that our people have full access to higher learning opportunities. Our people are the raison d'etre for all that we as heads of government do, contrary to what some might believe. But we cannot do it alone. It will take a concerted collaborative effort. The education sector itself, the supporting institutions, and governments working together to ensure that we achieve all that we set out to do. Thank you once again for affording me this opportunity. I extend my very best wishes for a wonderful forum.